How's it going everyone, Laser here and today we will be unboxing a new Radeon RX 6800 XT from Sapphire. First let's open the very colorful box and see what's inside. I hope you appreciate the background I chose for this specific unboxing, matched AMD's branding too. But back to the card itself, inside of the box there's another box and there we can find a short quick start guide helping you install the card and some other non-essential stuff. The card is packed in a protective bubble foil to prevent it from any harm while it's being transported to you. The first impression when you hold the card in your hands is heavy. I know it doesn't look like it, but it feels like it weights more than it should. I'm guessing that's because of the amount of metal elements that come into play here in the cooling system, in heat dissipators and so on. The build quality is top of the top. The card feels solid, the metal elements give the card a more industrial character and they just look great. I mean, take a look at this. I think this is one of the few cards that I would really love seeing mounted vertically to show off the fans and how they look. Great job by AMD. The R on the fans is also a nice touch. On the card there is a Radeon sign which, when connected to power and motherboard, lights up. We will be able to see it later on. The card takes two 8-pin power connectors, which supply the card with a maximum of 300 watt. The fans are quite a bit smaller than on the other non-reference cards I have seen from Nvidia, but the lower power consumption from this card suggests that it won't need as much cooling throughput as the 3080. The fans, while under load, are also almost absolutely quiet. I've tried it at 100% and the noise levels were very, very low. Some of the heat dissipating fins on the card look like they have been crooked. I don't really know whether this is true or it's some kind of new design. So if you have a 6800 XT and can have a look at it, please let me know in the comments whether it looks the same on your unit. Now when it comes to connectors, I'm a bit disappointed to see that we only get one HDMI connector and two DisplayPort connectors. We get a USB-C in return, but I would rather see at least one more HDMI port to go with as this limits your options by quite a bit. In the box there's also no PCIe port shroud, which is a shame. On the side of the card there are some threads, but honestly I don't know what the role is. If you do, let me know in the comments below. On the back, following the latest trends, we can see the capacitors, or at least I think that's what they are. And there are a ton of them. I have no idea why RDNA 2 needs so many, but it looks crazy. Other than that, the back is a slab of metal that should help with heat dissipation. There is no hole in the back as the air gets out through the sides. All right, now let's compare the card to the one I'm using as my main unit, so the 3080 ROG Strix from Asus. The card looks tiny when compared to the Ampere GPU, almost as small as the 3070, but when it comes to weight, they are very close to each other. Of course, the Strix is bigger, but the difference in size for some reason does not translate to that much bigger difference in weight. Also, the big difference are the fans. The Strix rarely goes over 65-68 degrees while gaming and the 6800 XT was going over 75 degrees while I was testing it. Pretty big difference if you ask me. In terms of aesthetics, the cards look strangely similar, but I really like the design on both of them. Now let's take a look at the promised LED lighting when the card is connected. Nothing over the top, pretty simple and matching the rest of the design philosophy. I think the current generation cards both from AMD and Nvidia look great, especially the reference models. And now a quick coil wine test. As expected, the card has some coil wine comparable to the Strix, so you should be wary of it. And if you want to buy it, get a pair of headphones or put your case away from your ears, preferably under your desk. When it comes to performance, I was able to do some quick tests in Unigine Heaven, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Assassin's Creed Valhalla as they should be a good indicator of what to expect from the cards. And I must tell you, I was shocked to see that both of the cards, the Strix and the RX 6800 XT, go toe to toe when it comes to performance. I mean, this is a $50 cheaper card when it comes to reference design and around $200 cheaper than the Strix and it was able to match it. At this point, there is just one thing to say. Well done, AMD. Finally, we have a worthy challenger to shake up a bit stagnant GPU market and Nvidia really needs to pull up their sleeves and get back to the lab to prepare for the next generation of GPUs. Or AMD might run them over with the 7000 series Radeons. This is a huge leap, which is great for us, the consumers. If we look at the graphs, we can see that in Unigine the cards are equally good, both reaching 3700 points and the Strix is just a little bit more powerful. In Dead or Redemption, the difference between the two cards is just 9 frames, so around 10%. 
which when compared to the price difference is nothing at all. Moving on to Assassin's Creed and here something really weird happens. The 6800 XT is faster than the 3080 and by a big margin, almost 20%. As an owner of these tricks, I really do hope that's just a matter of drivers, but if not, then boy oh boy, what interesting times are ahead of us. Similar differences can be seen on 1080p with 6800 XT taking the lead. Of course Nvidia still has an edge when it comes to ray tracing titles where it offers better performance than the RDNA 2 car but that will most likely change or at least the difference should be much smaller in the next generation of cards. Ok so just to sum it up quickly we are seeing some major changes when it comes to GPU and CPU landscapes thanks to the amazing performance uplifts from AMD in both departments. I'm really happy to see that as it benefits us all, the consumers, gamers, because it means better prices and better competition from all of the companies involved. Well done AMD, you did it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing for more content like this. I'm Laser, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.